Here we have an II Arcade motherboard that came in for repair. I have worked on one of those before and I have a video on this. If you look it up, II Arcade, R-C-A-D-E, Northridge Fix. And you'll see that we have worked on a similar board before, one time. I posted the video and the problem was a short circuit on the motherboard. We discovered a shorted capacitor. I do not even recall where that shorted capacitor was at on the board, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look up the video we did a while back, I think it was cap number one or maybe cap number two. If we measure here, yeah, we do not have a short. So it's not the same issue. We do not have a short circuit here. Let's start by doing a visual inspection, quick visual inspection, and maybe we can measure components at random. We do not have a circuit diagram for this board. We do not have any schematics. We do not have any board view diagrams. So there's no way for us to know how that board works other than just testing components randomly and hope for the best. This is not something that we work on every day. And we do not even have donor boards for this one. The board looks excellent. Oh, oh, whoa. Wait, wait a minute. Look at this. We have a missing component here. We have a missing component here. We have a missing component here. And I do not know what this is. Oh, it looks like a missing component also with a pad that pulled off. See? Likely a capacitor or maybe a resistor, I do not know. We do not know what those components are, and we will never be able to find the values of those components unless we have a donor board that we can extract that component off and put it on this board. But what is this component? What is this? What is this? What is this? I have no idea. What's that chip anyway? It looks like an Audi IC, very commonly used on laptops. I mean, most devices, they use this RTL Audio IC. Was there a shield here? Was that shield removed and I don't know. I honestly do not know if there was a shield here or not. Let's continue with visual inspection. This looks like a user error or user inflicted damage. Maybe this happened while trying to remove the motherboard. How else are those components going to rip off the board? No other way. But that's the audio circuit. The user wrote, doesn't power up properly. Since we found few missing components, we need to thoroughly look at the board and make sure we do not have more missing components. And it looks like we have another audio IC here. So this side of the board, we do not have any other issues. Let's flip the board. And we're going to start from the bottom up. Now you may think, oh wait a minute, we have missing components here. But those are not missing components. They are empty by default. You can tell by the shiny joint 
from the factory. And that's how we are able to tell if this placeholder is supposed to have a component or not. Shiny. It came like this from the factory. If it's dull, matte, then most likely there was a component there. Oh, whoa. We have four missing components here. Are you kidding me? We can tell they are capacitors. C, 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 and C. C607, C606. What is going on? This component may also be damaged. We have more missing components. What? We have a missing component here. We have a missing component here, a three-legged component, and we have a missing component here. We have four on the back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. And we have more. Wait a minute. We have <laughs> one, two, three, four here. And it looks like the lines are maybe cut off, this line and this line. Maybe a screwdriver slipped and went through the board. I do not know if this line is making a connection from here to here, from here to here. Yeah, a lot of problems. I mean, how many missing components do we have? I'm not going to be able to fix the board. If I had a similar board, then I would do it. I would remove the components of the donor board and put them on this board. I would check for that scratch, fix it, and we would deem the board a fix. But right now, how am I going to be able to figure out what those components are? I know it's a capacitor, capacitor, resistor, resistor, but I need the values. Same with this one. Same with this one. What's Q33? What's Q32? Is it a MOSFET? Is it a gate? Is it, what is it? We have a missing capacitor here. We have four missing capacitors here. Unless I have a donor board or unless I know the values of those components, I'm not going to be able to help out the customer. Maybe I can go online and look and see if we can find maybe a used or a broken board that we can use for parts, but I highly doubt it. II arcade board, I-I-R-C-A-D-E. Nothing, not even a single board. I'm not able to purchase, not even a single board off eBay. We gonna let the customer know, we know what the problem is. A resistor can break the circuit, a resistor can break the circuit, those components here can break the circuit, capacitors not so much, unless they are data lines, and the audio, the missing components at the audio circuit on the back, it may affect audio, but it's not going to break the circuit. We're going to end the video right here, I hope you enjoyed it, let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video. Thank you.